Andrew De Lennon. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you, sir. So we just had a look at a film. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, what was? Uh, how do you feel about it? How did you come out in your aspirations, as it were? Well, you know, uh, when showing your work, whether it's musical or visual, to anybody, there's always an element of anxiety. Um, hopefully, it's uh, it's positive. But there is always the worry in the back of your mind. Um, I th I think, for the most part, it was great. You know, I was I was happy. Um, the response was good. Um, you know, it's it's just it, it's it's not meant to be something that's going to be life changing, but it is supposed to be something that's a bit of an insight into uh, into being blinded by the cameraman. <laughs> Um, so no, it's all right. Um, um, you know, which I, and I, th I, I felt that that came across. You know, um, and I, I think you know that there's there's a possibility to take it to the next level, maybe a few years down the road with a bit more work behind me. Uh, I think this was this was a good door opener, so to speak. Um, and I think everybody did a great job on it. You know, there's a lot of. Uh, a lot of a lot of hard work gone into this, and uh, not only just the documentary, but uh, you know, uh, especially in in, in, uh, in in light of the work behind the app, yeah, which yeah. really is something quite special. Yeah. Everything changes. Seems to be you know, you add in songs, you got the acoustic versions out, the apps come in. It seems yeah. to be a project that's sort of growing and growing. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, you're talking to an exhausted man right here. <laughs> I, I literally got off the plane from LA to Dublin for a couple of days, uh, two days work, and then to Paris to finish another film project I'm shooting stills on, uh, uh, and then uh, home for a day, and then here. Uh, so I've slept in my bed two nights <laughs> in two months, um, and uh, a little jet lag, but I, I, you know, I, I think the response is good. You know, Absolutely. what more can I say? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, the photography's given you another complete outlet as well, then, has it? Yeah, I, uh, I, I think what's been seen so far is early days, really. Um, there's a lot of work that I've been doing, a lot of collections behind the scenes that will come out some point next year. And also the work that I've been doing, uh, the artistic stills on this film called uh, The Price of Desire, which is about Eileen Gray and Corbusier. You should go Wikipedia them if you don't know them. But it's a, it's a pretty special film, and I've... Uh, uh, I, I've been excited to work behind the scenes on that because we're talking about making the artistic stills they're not your normal behind the scenes continuity stills although I've done that as well uh, we're talking about a book and a box set and an exhibition out of this too so th there's a lot of work next year already lined up um, which, which is great which is great you know which is uh, I'm looking forward to but I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have gotten this project out the way because you know it was a year and a half two years in the making plus the 14 videos that went in yeah, yeah, yeah. behind that and then of course in the last month or so the acoustic version of the album too so uh, a lot of blood sweat and tears uh, I, I, you know I, I'm breathing a slight sigh of relief <laughs> um, and it, it you know it, it's closure it's closure in many many respects and uh, very much an opening f uh, of a new chapter for me. Yeah, you know? I mean, what, what, can we, what have you got planned for 2014 on a musical level? Oh my God. Um, <laughs> on a musical level, well, the idea is, uh, I don't know if you know of a, uh, a music convention in the States called South by Southwest. Yeah, yeah, we go, very, very yeah. famous. Uh, now, they've, they've expanded uh, dramatically since, since opening their doors many, many moons ago. Uh, you know, they now have a film department, now have an arts and cultures department, now have a tech department. Um, and I met the management teams at, uh, out there recently in Los Angeles and uh, uh, talked about uh, doing something quite special. So we'll probably be looking at doing a screening out there, a gallery, uh, an exhibition of collections, uh, an acoustic session with Q&A in a theater, and then at the end of the 10 days, uh, a full 90-minute uh, production show with full or partial orchestra. 
um, which would be charity orientated uh, with donations to White Feather Foundation and local charities. And we, the hope is that I would piggyback that idea into um, one night only shows in major cities with a full or partial orchestra, uh, maybe 10 shows in the States uh, and see how that goes. If people like that, then uh, take it to the next level. Fantastic. And the one for the project, what would you, what would your hopes be for that in, in the future? Let's say for for the white feather. Uh, well, white feather, white feathers. Could, I mean, we had our first event earlier this year, made a fair amount of money. Uh, this year was the year of water declared by the UN. I did a campaign with Charity Water, uh, who are a, a, an incredible organisation. I had the pleasure of meeting Scott Harrison, who's the the founding member. And uh, the campaign that we worked on, the, we were able to uh, drill and supply. Uh, we had two, uh, two um, uh, drill sites. We had two, we had two drill sites uh, which have helped thousands of kids and families. And I'm actually going off for the first time in February with Scott uh, to Ethiopia to look at the changes that have been made and what we've achieved and also take my camera along not only for an editorial but to because I've seen uh, a video of the location it's the people are stunning uh, the location is stunning I'd like to walk away from there with some artistic uh, photos for you know a box set and an exhibition solely dedicated to White Feather and enabling uh, further help to you know, uh, organizations in the future, charitable orga organizations, and NGOs that we work with already, you know. Fantastic, it's a pleasure for you to talk to you. My, 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 my and I really pleasure. enjoyed it, thanks a lot. Thank, thank you, I appreciate that, Mark. Thank, thank you. you.